Hello folks and welcome back to episode 5 of Elm Creek with me, Wasteland Gaming. Everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Elm Creek. It is a new year, but we are on the 1st of September, so days have rolled on a day. And I just thought I'd quickly show you uh, our new uh, tailors. So obviously you saw this being built in the time lapse at the start, but yeah, it's good to see it in person. So here it is, all in place, all ready to go. So drop, I think you pick up stuff from there and you drop off stuff in here so and there is a place to get changed just here as well as well so that's that uh, obviously it's not active yet because we haven't put anything in it but I just thought I'd quickly show you uh, since it's been done and um, the other thing I need to get done as well is as you saw from the start as well I started a cultivating contract over on field 70 field 70 yes field 70 um, which needs completing so we're going to nip down there and go and get that continued I'll we'll get a work on that whoops we'll get a work on that and then I have got a fertilizer I've accepted a fertilizing contract on field 38 as well so we'll get that done as well um, so I think yeah once though, once uh, once we've got the cultivating contract on the way, uh, there's a bunch of things I need to do. Um, so first thing is I need to fertilise um, our 
our cotton field again because that has moved on another growth stage so we may as well get that done. Uh, I have fertilised the field uh, of soybeans which we got uh, next to the tailor shop um, so that has been fertilised so that's fully fertilised now um, so that's good to go and then what we also need to do is start uh, repurposing our fields so I need to uh, get a, I've bought a mulcher so the money's gone down a little bit for that um, so the mulch has been bought and what I've decided to do I'm going to sell the subsoil that we bought um, because it is quite small and uh, Black Sheep Modding released their Culti Plough, um, the subsoil plough device that was on Farming Simulator 19 and yeah we're going to yeah buy that instead. Now it's slightly unrealistic in the sense that it's a subsoil and uh, a, a plough combined but yeah I think it'll work really really well. Uh, it can go up to 9 metres in its new version as well. Quite slowly, it's a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to buy that, um, maybe not this episode, but the plan is to link a few fields together as well. I've also been thinking about uh, the layout of the farm at the moment and the field up at our main farm that had the canola in, I'm going to turn that to grass, and the big grass fields uh, the other side of the road from the farm, I'm going to turn into arable farms uh, fields and put cotton in them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of a rejig um, and I'll need the, the multiply for that. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll probably do that in the next couple of episodes. Whether I do it today is another, another question, but yeah, we will see. So we'll get this turned around and then we'll get a work on it. And then what we'll do, we'll head up to... Uh, we'll go and grab our John Deere 7R um, and the the subsoiler and we'll take that down to the stores get that sold and yeah we'll pick up the mulcher and we can mulch our fields as well and that's going to give us our two and a half percent increase in yield which is good so may as well drive down to the far end here and then I'm going to jump out get the work on it and then yeah it won't take much long, too long to get this contract complete. As you can see, I've done a fair chunk of it already. Uh, you also saw at the start, I managed to find a few of the the wooden toys as well. So there was a few down um, near the fields that we harvested off screen. If you remember from the last episode, I was just about to start that. So we did um, three, one, two, th yeah, three small fields. And I basically just sold all the sold all the crops that we had spare from that because there just wasn't that many, much really. Uh, but the income from it was pretty good as well, so yeah, can't really complain. Um, so we're still sitting on eight hundred sixty-five thousand dollars, but in the next few episodes, it's going to go down quite a lot because we're going to have to buy a cotton harvester. <laughs> Uh, which is half of the, half of that money straight off the bat. So, if you guys haven't noticed, when you have a, a manual geared tractor like this, uh, it does sometimes bog down with the gears when you drive in automatic mode. So, if you just do a quick up and down with the, the tool that you're using, it just helps it engage that next gear and yeah, get it back up to speed. Right. And get this worker going. There we go. And then they can go and finish that. Right, what we'll do, we'll see you at the stores, I guess. Uh, we'll go to the stores and I'll be in the 7R and yeah, we'll go and pick up this mulcher. Alright. See you over there. There we go then, I'm just coming into shop and dealership and yeah we'll drop this subsoiler just here. There we go. 
and yeah, jump out, sell that. Fantastic. So, repair, sell. There we go. The contract over on field 70 got completed as well, so that's all done. Um, so, I've also got my auger here to pick up. So, fact. That's annoying. I should have just left that here. Let's leave the weight here just now. I should be able to get both these facts. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll mulch this field first, actually. So the canola field that's down here, we'll mulch that first. And then what we can do is take this stuff back afterwards. Better. I'm assuming a little bit. So I went for went for the big big option. So if we go into mulches, where are we? There we go. So I went for the Cancella J TJP six ten. So six point uh, six meter width. And so this should do the job. It does fold up, but for for now we'll just use it like this. I've brought the 7810 down, the other John Deere down as well, <coughs> to get that field underway. So drop that down there, and away it goes. Fantastic. Like I said, this is going to give us, us a, a little bit of a, a boost, which is good. And then, yeah, we can, yeah get it ploughed after. So we get work on that one. So that's going nicely and what we need to do before the worker gets to here is we'll jump in here and we'll get this on the way as well. There we go. So if we go on to here This will need ploughing as well, but that's fine. In fact, what's going on that is fully fertilised? Uh, that's fine then. I don't need to fertilise this field. It needed fertilising before I reset the map. That's, that's what it is. That's okay then. That's fine. In that case, we'll take this back up We'll take this across to uh, our next contract. So our next contract is field 8 or 38. So we'll probably go for, thir ooh, for 38, which is up towards uh, the up towards the the wee town actually. Ooh. Okay, we'll do that and yeah, we'll let the worker get on with this. Fantastic, it's working away nicely. Okay, so if I head along this way, we should be able to get to that field. We'll see you over there and yeah, we'll get, get this field fertilised. Fantastic, so we'll just come into field 38 then. And we'll get this all set up. Put that up a bit. Okay, let's try and get in this one instead then. There you go. Fantastic. So what I'll do is I'll set up a little bit of a time lapse for this one then. I'll get this field completed and then here yeah, I can move across to field 8 after that and we'll get that one fertilised and 
yeah, that'll be our three contract limit for the day. Um, but yeah, I'll check on the the mulching. We'll get the mulching finished. Move that up to the main yard, and yeah, we'll continue on with the mulching on that field, uh, uh, the canola field up there as well. So we'll see you in a bit. Uh, we'll get this field done, and uh, yeah, next time you see us, we'll be up at the the main yard with the mulcher, I think. There we go then folks, we are up at the main farm, the, the fertilising is still going on, um, I'm just over on field 8 still, and then this, I've brought the mulcher up to here, that's finished with, um, finished with its uh, mulching over on uh, 32, right. Up here, not come up. Why is this not coming off here? There we go. Appears to have got stuck. That's fine. There we go. So that's that one, and then. We should just be able to top this one up as well. I don't know whether it'll take the whole lot, but I doubt it. So. Still can't believe that we don't have to uh, remove all the, the feed and stuff from these animals, but never mind. Okay, so that's doing fine. So our small pen has got... 160 litres of wool and our big pen has got 300. So it's slowly working away. I'll leave that bale just there because that is under cover, so that's fine. I'll just 
park this back up over here and then yeah what we're gonna do is uh, get on with the rest of the mulching in here uh, in in this canola field and as as I said before what my plan is is this canola is going to become grass and then these fields across the road here I think we're going to turn them into one giant uh, cotton field there I think that'll work quite well and I think my plan is at some point is to buy another field um, just to keep getting uh, keep growing I guess alright keep that going there perfect but yes it's all going alright isn't it I think um, first September I'm going to play in two days, two day months, so got another day of September to go. Um, if I can get the grass in the ground um, between before the end of September, that should give it the opportunity to grow. Uh, we should be able to get some, get another cut on it, and that means we can get some more hay and some more silage bales go on the go. That should, uh, should keep, keep everything going quite nicely. But yeah, it's not a, not a huge field this, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay. We'll do a little bit in cab, I think. Yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. We've been, um, obviously, Christmas and New Year, it's all sort of gone by the by this is the first time I've been on this map in uh, since the since Christmas actually so uh, yeah it's been a little while but um, yeah absolutely loving it and um, what I'd like to know from you folk though from you guys and girls is what should the next Wheel of Fortune be um, I'm at a bit of a loss at the moment because you know we've not got many choices to make so um, could well be that uh, you guys decide what the next one is but um, I had a, a rough think maybe to do with the animals but um, but yeah it could because I would like to get some horses get some horses on the go and yeah it could be linked to that uh, or it could be linked to the sheep as well um, whether I should get another pen installed for the sheep um, but yes yeah absolutely loving this but yeah it's amazing how quickly the weeds have grown actually I think I'm going to go for a shallow cultivator or disc harrow um, on these fields just because I can yeah, get greater working width for the horsepower um, and it means I'm not going to drag up stones as well having said that on this this first occasion I think I'll probably have to subsoil or plow uh, because I want to sort of link these fields link some of these fields together but yeah I'll have a think about it um, Back out a second. Yeah, so with this, I suppose if this is going to be grass, it doesn't really need to be um, linked together because we've still got the sort of meadow grass, uh, the non fertilizable gla grass on the sides, um, which, yeah, it won't add a great deal to it. So I could just, yeah, literally get the shallow cultivator on this and then yeah get the grass seed in the ground um, so I could do that straight off the back and then that would uh, that would speed the process up a little bit um, and then yeah with the field across the road then yeah I might make that a little bit larger and yeah link the smaller field and the longer field together um, and then that'll give us one big field 
keep missing bits. Okay. Uh, yeah, keep. So, yeah, if I link them together, I can use the plow to do that. And yeah, then I'll need to stone pick as well. Now, obviously, with this let's play, I can't um, do any leasing. So, if I buy a stone picker, then I may well just sell it straight back again. But we'll see. Um, I don't, there's not much point in keeping one, especially if I do go down the shallow cultivation, discaro sort of direction. But I will need to get a weeder because, yeah, the weeds grow back if you just uh, if you don't get deep enough into the soil. So I will probably need a weeder. Right, I'm going to continue on with this, and yeah, we'll see you at the end of the field once it's all done. And uh, yeah, see what's next. So just coming up to the end of this field, I did miss a little bit up there, so we'll just get that on the way back. But that is it all mulched, and that should give us a nice two and a half percent boost, which is all good. Okay. I've uh, been giving it some thought, so yeah, we're going to put grass onto this. Um, so, I think what we'll do... We'll get the grass seeder out in a second. And uh, yeah, we'll try and put some grass in here. I don't think this field needs anything else. Just quickly check at the end of this. There we go. Perfect. So let's have a quick look. I have accepted a contract over on field 40, but we're not going to do that till the next game day. So that one's been mulched now. So is this one. So let's have a look. Does it need ploughing? Don't think so. It does need lime though. Fantastic, right. In that case then, we will put some lime on it first. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'll put this over here just now so we can give it a clean in a second. And then we'll get the spreader. And I have a feeling we don't have any lime, so I might need to quickly nip and get some lime as well. So just quickly check. Yeah, I think it's all seed in there. Run over the sheep. Oh no, we've got 40%. I wonder if that's enough to do the field. We shall see. There we go. Right then, so probably start about here. Yeah, we're not going to have enough, are we? Oh well, right, well, what I'll do then is I'll quickly go and get some more lime. We'll go and get this uh, filled up. And, yeah, we'll finish this field off. We'll see you over here in a second. There we go then. So that's the other auger here. So we've got them both parked out the back, which is just nicely out of the way. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just nip this on. Got two more bags of lime, takes us 4,000 litres maximum capacity. So there should be plenty to get this field finished. So, just nip on to here again. Okay, and yeah, OK. 
carry on. Alright. It's great working with on this uh this spreader. Oh front post there. Go. So I think Now this has been limed and mulched, that should give us a further boost. And then here, yeah, we'll, um, we'll seed it with grass next episode, I think. There we go. Done. Fantastic. So there, yeah, that's there. Uh, that's been done. Yeah, it doesn't quite doesn't give us all the information yet, but once there's a crop in the ground, it will do. Uh, so, I'll go and put this away and I'll go and get the mulcher cleaned and then that will be us. We'll probably see what else needs doing. But yeah, pretty productive day. So, I've got a few fertilising contracts, a couple of fertilising contracts done, got a cultivating contract done. We've got uh, both our fields mulched and now that one's spread with lime. I don't think the other one needs lime. Let's just quickly check. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Needs ploughing, but we knew that. Nope, doesn't need lime. That's good. So once that's ploughed, we can stone pick and yeah. We'll get these ones done as well. But uh, yeah, I think all in all a pretty productive day. Well, um, we'll see you very soon on the next one. If you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. It means the world to me when people do hit the like. And yeah, by all means, give us a comment. Um, I always get back to people as soon as I can with the comments. And yeah, if you want to see more of this, this content, please subscribe to the channel and yeah don't forget we've got my other uh hope Belleron series and my uh no man's land build it challenge series and i am going to do a couple more episodes on fs19 of my role survival role play and that will be coming back for fs22 very very soon i've got a couple of maps in mind for it um both of which are not or and none of which are out yet but I know the modders are working on them but as soon as it gets to a point where we can get survival roleplay off the ground I will start it up again but in the meantime take care and we will see you very soon all the best <laughs>